Welcome back. In this segment, I want to talk about Splunk apps. And this is a really important topic. Apps extend Splunk's functionality. They're often written by vendors of products themselves, like HP or Cisco or F5. Individuals can also create apps, and other third-party organizations can create apps as well. You can find all the apps on SplunkBase.com. And they do have tags. Some apps carry the Splunk Built tag, which means that app is built and certified by Splunk itself. And other apps carry the Splunk Certified tab, which means that Splunk has certified that app to work with the current version of Splunk. Some apps don't have any tags, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't download and try them. Some apps that have not yet become Splunk certified are still very, very good. What is an app? It's just a collection of configuration files. In other words, it's just a collection of text files. And apps also can have add-ons. And add-ons specify some more details about how the app behaves, including data collection and lookups and other extended things that apps can do. So an app is a collection of configuration files. An add-on is also a collection of configuration files. But add-ons and apps work together. As I said, you can get apps from SplunkBase.com. Most apps are free. However, there are a few premium apps. Currently, there are five for which you'll need to buy a license. These include Splunk App for Enterprise Security, Splunk App for PCI Compliance, Splunk App for VMware, and Splunk App for Microsoft Exchange. Let's take a look at how to install and manage apps in Splunk. Back on our Windows 10 search head, let's open up the Splunk Web GUI. And here we are at the Splunk Web GUI. And we can see on the sidebar here, it says apps, and then it shows us the only app we have installed, which is the search and reporting app. Other apps that have GUIs built into them will appear on the side here. Some apps do not have GUIs, and most add-ons do not have GUIs. So how can we see and manage those kinds of apps? Well, we simply click on the gear here next to apps. And we see a list of all of the apps that we have installed. Currently, I have 16 apps installed. And these are just the apps that come with a default installation of Splunk. Notice down here that we do have the Splunk Searching and Reporting app listed, because the Splunk Searching and Reporting app is actually an app. So now let's download a new app and install it. So we're going to go to Splunk Base. And we're going to simply search for an app that we think might be useful. And one of the best apps to start out with is called the Splunk Dashboard Examples. And there it is there. And we can see right off the bat that Splunk actually built this app, so it's highly trustworthy. We have some screenshots of what the app looks like once you install it. And we simply log in to download. Of course, we have to agree to the terms and conditions and all that jazz. And we'll save it. And again, an app is just a series of configuration files. They're just text documents. So most apps are pretty light. And you can see how quickly this app downloaded. To install the app, click on the gear next to apps. Install app from file. Browse to the file we just downloaded. We don't need to unzip it or untar it or anything like that. And there it is. It's a TGZ. And I always like to tick this box here that says Upgrade App. This will ask Splunk to keep an eye on the app and if there are any updates, alert us of those updates. OK, the app was installed successfully. And we can see 
the app here. Is it visible? Yes, this means it has a GUI. It's enabled. We can launch app, edit properties, view objects, and view details on Splunk app. So viewing objects means viewing all of the knowledge objects that come with this app. It could be lookups, it could be data models, it could be tags, it could be event types or saved searches or dashboards. So since this app is visible, that means it will appear on our sidebar. Let's go back to the Splunk homepage. And there it is, Splunk 6.x dashboard examples. And what this app does is it takes the Splunk internal log information and gives you a bunch of ideas about dashboards you can make with that data. So if we click on charts, for example, we can see different examples of charts. This is a stacked chart. This is a regular column chart. Now let's take a look at the files that make up this app. As I said, apps are just a series of configuration files. So if we browse to the Splunk home directory, and we go to Etsy and apps, we can look at the folder and this app is actually called Simple XML Examples. And we can look in the default directory and see all these conf files. So apps.conf, save searches, transforms, and visualizations. If we edit one of these or open it in Notepad, we can see the contents of this configuration file. And we'll go more deeply into configuration files in a different segment. You can also install apps through a command line interface, but whether you are on Windows or Linux, I recommend doing it through the Splunk GUI. And I thank you for joining me in this segment. I look forward to seeing you next time.